good evening you guys <laughs> um okay so i promised that i would get to this today and originally i had said there was going to be a few small boxes well i got quite the delivery today from fedex so um first and foremost you got i love my job boy do i love my job um so i had the opportunity to help a couple of lovely ladies get their start last week amidst all of the other chaos, right? Um, and what I like to do when I'm, you know, building up a shopping link, I like to make sure that I get enough credits built up to help people start this opportunity at um, a significantly lower cost than, you know, out-of-pocket cost, even up to $0 out-of-pocket. Um, to get rocking and rolling, get their exclusive kit, um, I think I still have one left. <clears throat> um, so what I do is I basically, I sit on my own credits until I can gift this kit to somebody or help somebody, you know, start with Sensi themselves. So that being said, <clears throat> because I did, you know, get to help two people start, I cashed out two, <laughs> two of my sets of rewards, um, for my own personal parties and it all arrived today so it's like massive overflow right now you guys crazy so this is going to be a long video i am absolutely certain of that but like i need to clear my space um i do know that one of these boxes contains um that came today contains something for somebody else so i don't like to just like sit on it and i like to make sure that i can get it out to people because you guys are just as excited as I am where you wouldn't be here. So, um, God, I don't even know where there's, there's more over here. Like, this is nuts. This is absolutely, it's like Christmas. It is sensey Christmas in my house right now. Um, okay. So I had a couple of pre-sales that I had done that I went ahead and redeemed. Um, now I've already, I already opened this box because I knew one of them was my dad's NFL mini warmer. Um, and then a girlfriend of mine was here today hanging out and I, her bears warmer is somewhere in this, but I hadn't opened it up and I knew James's bears warmer was in this box. So I'm like, I'm just going to give her his, um, <coughs> so that she could take it home with her today. And I would sift out the other bears mini warmer, but I want to show you the green bay one that we got for Sab. Um, as you guys know, uh, our oldest daughter lives in Wisconsin with her husband. And for Christmas last year, we got them the full-size Green Bay one. Well, when they announced that there was a matching mini, she really needs this for her bathroom. So this is the Green Bay Packers mini warmer to go with her full-size warmer. So obviously this is going to glow. Um, you can look at the little end zone pieces and or play playbook I don't know I don't watch football you guys I know nothing about football other than it's called a touchdown um so whatever these symbols are okay uh, that is on the back of it so it will glow it will cast some shadows on the wall or some lights on the wall in that fun pattern um I'm not sure if I'm going to hang on to this for her or if I'm just gonna maybe just send it to her as a, a I hope you're having a good day, you know, present from, from mom and dad. So, oh, she's going to be so excited for that, though. She was super excited to get the Green Bay one and uh, the full size, which is available again, you guys. All of the NFL warmers are available in both full size and mini right now. But the minis are super cute. And if you got the full size warmer last year, you need the matching mini. It's just like you have to have the set, right? She had to have the set. So... We did get her that. And then um, the other thing that I had um, done a presale on, which I redeemed, is a couple of buddies. And when these buddies came out, they told us it wasn't going to be available for redemption until October originally. Um, but they were anticipating a delay on their, their inventory. So that being said, I did the presale for these. It was the first time they had tried to do the presale. And then suddenly, like three days later, they became available. And I was like, um, I just bought two buddies 
for the girls at the time and I'm like I don't really need these they gave us all the way until October to redeem them so I have finally redeemed them and I might just stash them for Christmas at this point it's Sebastian <laughs> I think this probably tugs more at my heart than it does at my kids because the Little Mermaid was like my absolute favorite one. But I'm like, <sighs> he's wait till you see him. And I'm sorry, he's not available anymore. Um, I'm hoping maybe at some point they'll bring him back like I would kill for a flounder buddy. But look at his shiny shell. <laughs> like, seriously, his shiny shell is so cute. He's got these big old lips just like he does in the movie. Um, and because of his shiny shell, and he's, oh God, he's so soft. It's like silky. It's almost like a silky shell. This is so cool. I, he might have to be mine. I'm just, just saying. I mean, look at that face. He's so cute. Um, so his scent pack actually goes in his belly, which is super cute. So, and he did come, oh, whoops. I'll have to retie that. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's ours anyways. So I guess I tugged it a little bit tight, uh, more than I thought I was going to. But he does come with their signature scent pack, which is Kiss the Girl. This is a really nice, like, aquatic, clean type fragrance. Um, I didn't appreciate it too much in wax until I tried mixing it with lemon thyme berry. And now I'm sad that I didn't put that into my club. But um, it does smell amazing in the scent pack. So I had picked up a couple of extra scent packs and I'm just going to toss that to the side <coughs> when they came out. Um, so I did get a couple extra scent packs and we actually have Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl right now in Nuggie's Corn. So I have gotten to smell that in the scent pack. In the scent pack, it is hands down fabulous. But that unfortunately is no longer available. So um, I think maybe we'll move on to Double Club. So I do have a monthly club and a quarterly club and this month they overlapped. So I haven't shown off what I've gotten in my club for quite a while um, because usually it's just the same thing and I feel like I don't need to go over that month after month after month. But this is my first double club since the retirement of summer. So I figured I'd show you guys what bars made the cut um finally and i did i did have an oopsie i meant to take out my black raspberry vanilla whiffs and i didn't so i forgot to switch it out at, at the end of the day it's absolutely fine because we were using amazon rain i'm just about done with that system and i'm not impressed with that but black raspberry vanilla is a bangering powerhouse scent in laundry i will get this again these will not go to waste by any stretch of the imagination so Bars. All right, so this is my monthly club. This, these are the bars that I get every month. And sorry for that. I'm gonna try to do. It's like ripping off a bandaid. I just gotta go for it if I can. That is, I can smell it from here. Okay. So these are the bars that I get every month. Now, clearly, they were still sending ice packs. I don't know if there's ice packs in the new packaging or not. Fingers crossed. I've kind of got an ice pack overload. But, okay. So you guys have seen Stitch. I do get the Stitch bar every month. Experiment 626. I love this bar. It is similar to Mahalo Coconut for me. But there's something just a little, almost slightly fruity about it. But it's really super clean, super aquatic. I absolutely love this bar. The kids love this bar. We go through a lot of Stitch. So getting Stitch every month is totally fine. Um, this is from the discontinued summer items, Mocha Doodle. Um, we are coffee addicts in this house, me in particular. I'm a huge coffee addict. So having the coffee scent uh, was an absolute must. It, it just smells like a Starbucks coffee, like a rich, decadent, high-end coffee. I love this, and I do like to mix Mocha Doodle with Vanilla Waves, which stayed in the catalog for like this caramel mocha latte kind of thing. It's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, we've got two bars of ocean. So uh, I can't remember if I've already taken this down to one bar in my club or if I still need to take this down to one bar in my club. But ocean is another one of those like super nice, clean, fresh aquatic scents. Can you, you can kind of see a theme here? I've kind of got a wheelhouse that I stay with. It's almost slightly cologne -y. 
but I really do love ocean, but I think I kind of oceaned myself out. And I also, also sort of feel like there's other bars that are very similar to this. So I'm not sure that I need two bars, not dead on, but I'm not going through it as quickly as I thought it was. So like when it came out, I was like, oh, ocean, everything I need ocean. And then I'm like, do we really need two bars a month? Probably not. Um, white tea and cactus. This is one of Lexi's bars that she needs to have every month. This is okay for me. It's not my favorite. There's something like it's very, very green. Hi, Anna. We are doing good now, thankfully. So, but white tea and cactus is really not my bar. This would be something I'd like super have to be in the mood for. My windows would have to be open. It's a powerhouse performer. Um, but Lex really, really loves it. So this is her bar that comes every month for her. Um, I have got a bar of black currant bubbly. I love this. I will keep it forever and ever and ever. It's it's just, it's so good. It's absolutely so good. Um, and I am gearing up to do a friend swap with my friend Justine in Canada. And this will give me a third bar of black currant bubbly for her. So when she joined her, her sponsor told her that she couldn't keep her club, that she had to cancel it. And that's, um, I think she was probably newer, but that is not the case. She could have kept her club so she gets sad every time I, I do my empties video and I've used a black currant bubbly and then also a cutie pie cupcake. So we have been waiting for the weather to get a little bit cooler here, the weather to get a little bit cooler in Canada because shipping with multiple ice packs can get kind of expensive. But I think as the temperature is starting to drop, we should be good to go in a couple weeks to do a swap. And I can send her some of the bars that she loves so much because she's just darling and I love her to pieces. So uh, next bar out, we have lavender and white balsam. I do love this. I was toying with the idea of taking this out because my club is starting to get a little ridiculous. Um, but I still like I, I went through my stash and like I have one bar. So between myself and Alexis, this bar is getting used. Thanks, Casey. It was the um from the consultant store, but like this bar is actually getting used. So I kind of don't want to kick it out, but like I mean, you guys, my monthly club is getting a little out of control. So I can't, I, like, I don't know. White tea and cactus doesn't do it for me either. There's something very, like, medicinal about it, I think. Um, <coughs> I love that it's a powerhouse, but it, it literally smells like herbal medicine. I don't know why she loves it, but she does. Um, we have a bar of Plum and White Woods, which is amazing. This bar will definitely never come out. I really like the plum with the rich, woodsy undertone and the sweetness oh it's so good plum and white woods from was from bring back my bar last like january so like i'm already thinking ahead to this next january with the next bring back my bar like <laughs> huh, i'm gonna need to make some space i'm sure um next one up we have a bar of graduation this was my favorite bar from the moments by moments collection this is such a good like romantic slightly masculine bedroom scent and it just performs for days i i'm like obsessed with this this had to go into my monthly club because there's not a lot of things that i feel like oh my gosh that has to go into our master and i find myself rotating kind of the same fragrances in there like a just breathe or some jammy time or um like i do lavender and white balsam in the bedrooms and this is a new one to kind of switch it up just a little bit. <coughs> Let's see here. We got two bars of Bonfire Beach. This will forever, and I've already, yeah. I can't. I can't not have this bar. And and I do need two bars of it because if I'm doing Bonfire Beach, because it is a lighter scent for me. Like, I could do with a touch stronger on this. It This is one that has to go through the whole downstairs. I did do this in our bedroom the other day. And, you know, I'm not up in my room as much. And it was like, I felt like I wasted it. <laughs> so Bonfire Beach is one that has to go on the main floor at all times. Um, okay, here we go. The Bar of Cutie Pie Cupcake. God, I love it. It's just an orange cupcake fragrance. I really wish that I would have put like 
two bars of this in my monthly club. We go through this every single month with the exception of the last couple months because <laughs> like I said, I have been purposely saving up to, to do a friend swap with uh, my girlfriend, Justine. So uh, yeah, I know Lex can definitely have it. I am. It's not my jam. It's just not. Um, the other bar in our monthly club is Summer Soleil. So this is like a really nice, sweet, fruity floral. Um, it's not a huge, like overwhelming performer, but it did so much better than I thought it was going to be. And it's one of the scents that I really, really like for the girls' room. Like, I love this bar to go into the girls' room. It's so good. It's like the perfect, and, and not that it's like little kiddish, but it's very bright and fresh and fruity. And it just, it fits their space. We have a bar of My Dear Watson. So this one this was my original like men's cologne fragrance from when I started using Scentsy 10 years ago. And when I saw this in the, the bring back my bar, like I had to have it. I didn't have a quarterly club at that time. Ugh. I probably, if I could, I would switch this to my quarterly club. I don't go through that as much as I thought that I would, but it does, however, make a very, very nice gift. So when my brother was getting ready to go to DC, um, about a month ago, I put him together like this really nice going away package, home warming package for his new place. Um, and, you know, I included the crystal ice warmer and included some cleaning products. And I included some manly fragrances, uh, My Dear Watson being one of them. So, you know, I did, it, they do make nice gifts. So I have found uses for the abundance of My Dear Watson that I have um, at this point. And then what else do we have? Angel Experiment 626. Four. This is one I probably could have kicked to my quarterly club, but when I smelled it the first time, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this and everything. And I would melt it all the time, but it just smells like raspberry bubble yum. And it reminds me, it reminds me of my dad, which is why it ended up in the monthly club. So, but I could probably have done quarterly because I started out with like two of these bars <laughs> and then I toned it down because I've got a bit of a stash, but I won't take it out because I don't want to lose it. So if it ever comes back, I will delete it from monthly and put it into quarterly. But um, then we have Lemon Time Berry, which is amazing. All on its own, it's this really sweet, like lemon, almost like blackberry sort of fragrance, which I really, really enjoy in the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, my brothers don't typically raid my wax, but, you know, I I would be fine with it if he was like, hey, La, can you send me another bar of that? And I'd be good with that. So, I mean, I was talking to him last night and he's like, I'm going to need some more wax. And I'm like, I got you, kiddo. So this this one, though, is just like a really nice lemon. It's like a lemon blueberry, lemon blackberry. It's really, really good. I don't get any time from it. There's nothing herbal about it. Um, if I had bars of Little Mermaid, though, this mixture is insanely good in alternating warmers. There is just like, uh, when you match that like dark fruity berry with that aquatic, it blows your mind. It was so good. But of course I didn't try that till after Little Mermaid was all gone. So I'm like, dang it. Um, and then last in my monthly club, which we do go through monthly, is a bar of Dumbo Circus Parade. This is just a really sweet citrus vanilla. And this, oh my God, I got a Dumbo buddy clip in my initial join kit. And I fell in love, like we are obsessed with this scent still. Dumbo will never, ever, ever, ever come out of my club. So <coughs> that's the monthly club. Now quarterly. <laughs> Let's take a look at quarterly. Ugh. I think the, oh yeah my knife is over there I thought I had opened all the boxes all the way I did not let's pop the tape off of this like I said this is gonna be long I know it's gonna be long I will try not to go into so much detail of every bar but like quarterly especially excites the crap out of me because it only comes four times a year so this is only my second quarterly club that I've gotten since I signed up for it <laughs> because originally I was like, I need everything every month. And then I'm like, I I go through a really decent amount of wax. And I probably I desperately need to go through my empties. Like, they're overflowing. They don't all fit in the basket. Um, this 
you know, this last week has just been insane. It's, it's been totally insane. And like, I feel like, you know, we got out of the hospital with James and he's doing great now, by the way, he's back there playing games. Um, and then I went right into doing old October stroll and then I had to play catch up at home and I just like, I'm drowning. I'm just drowning. Ugh. Let's see. I do know that you treasure that bar, Anna, for sure. It's a good one. It's, it's a definitely a good one. Okay. Hopefully this will be the last Mylar bag we have to open tonight with any luck. We will see, because like I said, I need I need my space back, you guys, I do. So sorry for the length, and let's rip the Band-Aid off. Okay. It's, it's the big, it's quarterly, so I don't feel so bad. This is not like an every, every month one. But I, I might, might need to do some tearing down here. This is... It looks a lot bigger in person than I thought it was gonna. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Yeah, I might have gone overboard on my quarterly, you guys. Okay, so um, maybe I will move these around a little bit from what retired from summer that I had to have. Maybe I'll just organize these for a minute in case they didn't come back. Because I I seriously, like I learned my lesson where no scent is, be quiet, sorry. Where seriously no scent is safe. And that scared me. It scared me. So, I think, is that all the summers? Okay, so I added, from the summer, quite a few bars to my quarterly club that I would be, like, devastated if they didn't come back. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> um, so, we'll go through those. And then there's some bring back my bars and some special ones. And then I've got a, a, a fun one to show you. So first up, um, no, I'm good on cranberry. I stocked up from the clearance sale. I am, I bought 12 bars of cranberry garland um, and 12 bars of snow kissed cranberry. So I cranberried it up for sure. Um, so I've got a bar of sheer leather. So this again is one of those really, ooh, that one's just a little, little sweaty and I just stuck my face full in it. Um, whoops, this is a really, again, nice, sophisticated, high-end men's cologne. Um, I will be honest, like, I will use this bar, absolutely, but Sheer Leather is my brother-in-law's favorite scent. So, when we saw it was going away in car bars and, you know, all of that, like, everything, and not, like, Sheer Leather carries through. So, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be returning, that they were going to retire it. So he stacked up on the car bars. When I saw the clearance, the last clearance update, and they were in there, I bought him another 12 bars, <laughs> car bars. And then I told my sister that I had gotten them for Kyle as a gift, and she's like, get me another 12 bars. So I threw this in there in case once he goes through his 24 car bars, and mind you, he's got three cars, um, he can at least have it in wax. So he can, I'm going to assume, because my sister is very much like, clean fragrances only, but he's got like his man cave down in the basement, or maybe I can get him a warmer for his garage for Christmas or something. But I threw this into my club specifically for him so that he can still get the fragrance. <coughs> Pina Colada Cha Cha. I think this one is safe. It did not pop up in anything in clearance. It just smells like the drink. It smells like the fruity tropical drink, like you're laying on the beach. Now I want to melt this. It's so good. And I know, like, I've had full-on fall going for days, and I'm like, I could, if it's supposed to be 80 again this week, I could rock out some pina colada cha-cha on those warmer days. <clears throat> A bar of sugared strawberry. Now I saw strawberry rose pop up in the clearance, but I did not see sugared strawberry. I love this scent. Like, sugared strawberry is so good to me. It's, it's very sweet. It's very, like, candied strawberry. But... 
I love it in pods. I love it in wax. I love, like, I literally love it in everything. And I would be so sad if I could never have it again. So it will stay in my quarterly club. So by the time my next quarterly club comes, I should already have that list of what's coming back or so I'll, I'll be able to pare down my quarterly club. So when you put it in that perspective, it doesn't make this look quite so insane, but it does look insane. Uh, Mahalo coconut. You guys know how I feel about Mahalo coconut. I need it in everything. I just finished my sugar scrub. <sighs> I still have my body cream last forever, but my sugar scrub goes faster. I need it in everything. I just like, I could never. Um, Coastal Sunset was another one that I saved. So this is a really nice like woody coconut driftwood, coconut and driftwood fragrance. It's just so good. I love it. I love the wood fragrances. I love the woodsy fragrances. So next bar up was Sand Swept. Oh, okay. This one, this one here is not. So we got it down to like seven. <sighs> Sand Swept is so good. It's just clean. It's very clean. And slightly woodsy. It's a clean woodsy. And it's amazing. Yeah, I'm so glad you've got your rainbows and butterflies because that did pop up in clearance. And I am afraid that that is not coming back. Um, so that would be, I'm glad that that's in there. <coughs> um, let's see. And then last but not least is French lavender. So I know my friend Melissa was toying with not adding French lavender, but I love this. I absolutely love this. It is a beautiful herbal lavender. I'm hoping that the new scent categories on the bottom means French lavender is safe. I actually didn't think to check the rest of them. Sandswept does not have the categories. Coastal Sunset does not have the categories. Okay, Mahalo Coconut doesn't either. So I guess just, just French Lavender. So they must have been out of French Lavender bars and had to pour new ones. Um, so that makes me feel better. But I, I like, I love this. I love the scent in the bedroom. It's so good. It's so soothing. It's so peaceful. I, I can't live without that. I just like, if they discontinued it, my heart would be broken. Okay, so let's get into some Bring Back My Bars that got added to this club. And then we can talk about some limited time offers that have made it to club for me. Right? Yes. Okay. So everything else there is a limited time offer. Okay. So the bring back my bars that made it into my club from the very last round. Um, we've got two bars of oodles of orange. Now, I'm not sure that I'm going to need two bars of oodles of orange, but I wanted to play it safe. So Oodle of Orange is this really powerhouse, like super duper fabulous performer. It's so good. I didn't see the wax either, but I saw everything else for rainbows and butterflies. The room spray. Um, I don't think there was much. Like room spray was there. Scent circles were there. So I'm thinking rainbows and butterflies might be done. But Oodles of Orange is a really, really good fragrance. It's just a nice, like, combination of all these orange fruits, orange, mango, papaya. It's just, it's so good. It's such a strong performer. Oh, we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Oodles of Orange. So, I did throw two bars in, because um, that is one of James's favorites. Now, he did request a wild black cherry. I hate this bar. I really, like, it smells like a cough drop. To me, all I get is like Hall's cherry cough drops. <laughs> like, he loves it. I'm going to get him a warmer for the garage, I think. Because if I, I don't want this in my house. I just like, I can't. It's so, it's it's medicine. It's medicine in a bar. I it, It's a really, like, it's a knock your socks off performer. It's just overly, like, tooth aching sweet. Um, I also have a bar of coffee tree because we don't have a lot of coffee scents. The only one we have was mocha doodle. And this is more like your everyday morning. You just made a fresh pot of coffee um, kind of coffee scent. And I do, I do enjoy it. I do like it very much. So 
coffee tree made it to the club. And then last but not least is sweet pea and vanilla. I can't remember if I already gave this the boot or if I'm just planning on giving it the boot. <laughs> I have to look. Um, this one is really good. Like, I really do like it. I do like it. But I can't have all the things. I can't keep every bar of wax. And while this is really, really good, it's like a sweet, I mean, it's, it's sweet pea and vanilla. That's literally what it is. It's a super sweet vanilla e floral that's not like headache inducing kind of floral. But I do, is, is it special enough for me to keep in there? I'm, I think I might have already kicked it out, but I might not have. I don't know. I forget. Okay, so let's talk some limited time offers. Because again, I have a problem. I need a 12-step program. And maybe I should unbox the rest of the other stuff tomorrow. I'm not sure. Just because, like I said, this is already going on insanely long. Um, and let's see. I'm just trying to get everything out of the cellophane. Yeah, yeah black cherry, it's just, it's not my jam. Totally not my jam. Okay, so we got rid of that. So, limited time offers. You guys, this is so bad. Limited time offers. Okay, I, I'm happy. I mean, I guess do what brings you joy. This definitely brings me like an insane, crazy amount of joy. But, okay, so we have from the summer collection, I did put in two bars of Fiji flour because this is amazing. This is just an amazing scent. My fragrance flower, by the way, is still going strong. Oh, I love this. I just love Fiji flower. There's something about this. Like, I, I am hoping beyond anything that they bring this into the catalog next summer. Oh, it's so good. Fiji flower is absolutely to die for good. I could do it in everything all the time. Uh, next one up is pink sugarberry mint. It's, it's so good. It's like, I know I don't get any mint from it. I know there are people who get mint from it, but it's like this strawberry cake that like every time I melt it, James thinks I'm making something and I'm, I'm like, mm -mm. it's wax. I haven't melted it in a while because I melted through everything that I had. So I'm super excited to have this back. Oh, cause it's so good. It's so good. Um, I, yeah, I've, I've not, I'm learning I'm more bakery than I thought, but it's got to be like a sweet bakery. Um, let's see. I threw in vanilla blackberry. I think this one may still be available, but you know, you'll only get 30 days or as long as supplies last. And I know that it's months were over. Um, I have to have this. This is just like, it's so different. It's nice and tart. It's a tart fruit. I was actually melting this yesterday. Love this bar. So I wanted to make sure that I at least didn't mess up and forget to put it back. And if it doesn't come back, and I have a feeling, I don't think that one was as popular. Um, I think I'm one of those oddballs out there who really, really enjoyed it. Um, and it definitely, it made it into my club. So also from the summer collection is a bar of coconut daiquiri. So... This doesn't last very long. Um, it smells like suntan lotion. I'm not quite ready to kick it out because it's really good when it's going. <sighs> but it does. It reminds me of the beach. It just like, it reminds me of the beach. So for now it's staying because it's only in my quarterly club. So it's, it's like, I don't feel bad. I didn't put this in my monthly club. If it was in my monthly club, it'd probably get kicked out because like I said, it doesn't last long. It's, it's there for maybe half a day. And then when it's gone, it's gone. It just like fizzes out and it's done. But it's so good while it's going. Like I just, I can't part with it. Um, we have a bar of toasted marshmallow. Now this one is strictly a mixer for me. I, like toasted marshmallow on its own doesn't do anything for me. But, uh, whoa, well, I not like I'm, you're going to hate me for this, Anna, but I'm not a huge Arctic Kiss fan. Maybe... The pink sugarberry mint will cut through some of that melon because it's it's really like it's okay but i'm not like crazy obsessed with it um so i've been getting toasted marshmallows since easter in my club and it is 100 percent a mixer for me 
like I like this mix with other things. It's worth it because it mixes with so many things. Like it mixes with around the campfire. It mixes with, um, it, it would mix with coffee tree. Like it really like toasted marshmallow mixes with a whole lot of things for me. Um, and one of the things that it mixes with for me, and this is my first bar since Father's Day, is vanilla bourbon. So I, I detest this bar by itself. And I know that that sounds terrible. <laughs> Why is it in your club if you absolutely hated it? Um, I hate this bar on its own. I do. I can't help. Like, it's awful. It's so awful by itself. But mixed with toasted marshmallow, you have this warm, sweet, cozy, uh, like, hang out by the fire on, you know, Thanksgiving night. Oh my God, it's so good together. Like you mix these one cube to one cube because if you, uh, in alternating warmers, if you put toasted marshmallow in with vanilla bourbon, vanilla bourbon will drown it out by far. Um, Cause I did a half and half to see how it would work out. These are so good to get. Like I cannot wait to melt this combination. I've been waiting for this quarterly club to do this again. It's so good together that and, and normally I wouldn't wouldn't keep a bar or two bars in my club for mixing purposes but again toasted marshmallows super versatile and vanilla bourbon I have to have that mix again okay um so licensed bars in Anna I have been saving every Disney clamshell for you um every Disney empty clamshell so I have got some cars I've got Star Wars I have got I don't I don't but I've been saving all the Disney clamshells for you. Um, so we get two bars of Light Side of the Force. We never get through a month where James has not melted Light Side of the Force. This bar is good upstairs. This bar is good downstairs. It's good like literally everywhere. Uh, we will never live without that. Now, Dark Side of the Force, we don't use as often. Um, it's really good. It's like this really like deep, dark floral got ginger in it so this is one like I have to be in the mood for this bar but it does it does pair nicely because you're supposed to actually they're made to mix together to bring balance to the forest the dark side and light side but I'll tell you the light side on its own it's just it's it's fabulous it is absolutely fabulous oh nightmare before Christmas I've got some of those for you too and probably some others but I haven't looked at my drawer in a while <laughs> um and last but not well Last but not least in regular bar size is a bar of fresh ice. So I did not goof up with the NHL when they were discontinuing it. I did remember to put fresh ice in my club. It really does smell like fresh ice. Like if you go to a hockey rink or a skating rink, this is the scent that's in the air as like the Zamboni is driving over it and it's like kicking up the cold and it's so good. Oh, I haven't had this in a while. Um, I put it in quarterly because we weren't melting through it fast enough. Um, God, I'm, this is going in tomorrow. I swear to God, I've been missing this bar so much. Um, but I did goof up with the NFL bars, so I'm super excited that they're back because I will not make that mistake ever again. Um, I'm probably going to put NFL into quarterly club right now so that I can't accidentally forget it because that would be, I, I was in trouble. I took it out because I'm like, well, I can just buy it anytime. I, I was in trouble. So it's also going to my mom's club um, under my dad's orders, the Great Iron Rush. So I've got some club updating to do. All right. So last in my quarterly club, now that we've been through my massive haul, we got new bricks. Oh, you guys, we got new bricks. <sighs> So I now have a brick of jammy time. Oh me oh my, I am so excited for this. Um, I think the next one's gonna be Johnny Appleseed. Um, if you, I mean, just seriously, look at this. Look at the size difference, this is huge. I mean, this is an entire pound of wax. It's five and a half bars of, of wax and it only comes in the most popular fragrances. So like you can't go wrong. You absolutely can't go wrong. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, I just can't you guys. 
I was so excited when we got the announcement that we were getting five fragrances, five additional fragrances. And jammy time is fabulous. Like, who doesn't want jammy time in their life? It's just like lavender and clean laundry and all things fresh and beautiful in the world. And I just, like, I'm so excited to have this in a brick because I'll definitely use it. Um, so, I'm, I'm, ah, uh, yay. I'm, I'm so happy for this. This is crazy. So, this is awesome. Very, very good. I don't even know what time am I at. How long have I been recording? Does anybody know? Because I don't know. Probably a while. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to split this into two between today and tomorrow. So I've got a couple of small. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I know. Squeeze the day. I've got to get them all. I've got to go through the full rotation. I considered throwing all five of the new bricks into my club, but I'm like looking at my like looking at this stash, I can't even show you. Um, looking at that, and I'm like, I'll just do one at a time. I use that as my half off, so that's fine with me. All right, so of one of the parties that I closed out, this was a smaller party, um, and I was just doing it for the kit to get her started. Um, I got an extra wall fan diffuser, so um, I want to get this into my borrow bag. I, I had one in my borrow bag, and I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if the children stole it. I don't know if I, a hostess put it up and I didn't get it back. Not entirely sure. Um, so I got another wall fan diffuser to showcase our fan diffuser system. 40 minutes. Thank you. I knew you'd know. Um, so anyways, so I did get another wall fan diffuser to showcase in my borrow bags um, for take and go parties. And just so you guys can see how it works and get a chance to play with it and get a chance to really experience our pods. And, you know, it's always a good thing, you know, to have on, on hand for people to try out. And, like, the girls did finally, after a year, manage to crack the one in our bathroom. This man is my favorite um, one. But I did just get Mickey Mouse. So I am probably going to retire. Well, not even retire because, no, Lex is not selling now, too. Um... She is not. Um, that's against compliance. It's against the rules because technically she still lives in my household even though she's at college. Um, so anywho, I've lost my train of thought. The girls did crack it, but they do come with a lifetime warranty. So what I will probably do is warranty out the one that I have in my bathroom. Um, and it's just like a teensy, it's like this big of a crack. But Sensi will cover it. So I will warranty it out, get a brand new fan diffuser uh, to replace the one in the bathroom. But I think I'm going to put Mickey Mouse up in the, the downstairs bath for now. And then I am running low on scent circles. I know, it's terrible. So I did pick up some scent circles to restock, um, to have them on hand. I like to use them as gifts. I like to use them as giveaways. I, I use them all the time. Like, I just like to have sun circles on hand. So I got vanilla blackberry. I got scarlet sunflower. So, like, I, I felt really, like, normally our we get our yard treated every month for the mosquitoes. And I always, every time she comes, I, I leave a scent circle on her windshield. I can't go out there near her because she's spraying the stuff. But when she's doing the front yard or the backyard, I'll go leave a scent circle on her windshield. And I didn't have one this time. And I was like... She looks forward to those, and I know she does because she's she's thanked me for them several times. But like every time she comes out and sprays my yard, she gets a sun circle. Um, we got one in jammy time. Um, I got one in vanilla mint. Honestly, I might put this in my own car. I loving this scent right now. Very snowy spruce. <laughs> Christmas is coming. I'm so excited. And a by the sea. So those are the six that I got in there. And I did order my next laundry bundle. Like I said, I'm almost out of Amazon rain. Now, I did not do this as party rewards just because as I'm seeing shipping delays start um, and consultants understand. So they're going to ship our parties and our back end orders not as fast as the PWS orders. So, or like our personal website orders, they're going to get it to, to any of the online orders first. Oh, no, I did not help Lex get a kit, but I had two very, very, I, I missed a bar, um, two very, very lovely ladies. I helped them to get started. So what I like to do is I like to build up my personal credits and my party credits to help people, you know, one of Sensi's core values is give more than you take. And 
being able to give somebody the opportunity to get involved in this business and fall in love with it the way that I do is one of the ways that I like to give more than I take. So, um, last bar, Candy Crave. I miss Candy Crave. This is also from Big Rumpa Bar. And this one, was it's like a soup. My oh, battery's dying. Maybe we will have to cut it into two. It's like a cotton candy scent. I don't know why I love this, but I love it. And it's not like an overpowering cotton candy scent. So sorry about that. Um, so we are on to the pink cotton bundle. Um, I think I'm down to two, you guys. I think I only have two left to try, but we're down to the pink cotton bundle. So I already have the scents off from the three pack I bought a couple months ago. Um, because I, I like to bundle and save and I bought three sets off and I did it in three different fragrances with the ones I plan to use. So I've got a laundry liquid in pink cotton. We have got a tub of washer whiffs in pink cotton. And then we also have the, the two sets of dryer discs. You guys can never go through all four dryer discs in a month. Um, that's just the truth. So I save any of the extra ones that I, cause like when you get a set of dryer discs, there's two. Oh, God. oh they still got the new packaging. I love that. That's so cute. Look at the little strawberries and, and oh, black raspberries. Is this, okay, that's old packaging, old packaging. This is new packaging. Sorry, got distracted, but Two, two dryer discs come in a thing. So usually I go through two, honestly, because you can do, it says up to 15 loads of laundry per dryer disc, but I always get way more out of them. Um, so I save, I save any extras that I get in my laundry love bundles to um, include in my hostess gifts. So in my hostess packets and stuff like that, I like to send out dryer discs and they're really good. And then because I was already ordering through my website, right? I, I just was. I bought six more bars of Slay all day. <laughs> it was still there. It was it was calling my name. It was absolutely calling my name. So I only bought six bars of this the first time. Because I was like, no, I'm, I'm doing 12 bars of Snow Kiss Cranberry. I'm doing 12 bars of Cranberry Garland. And then I'm like, I'll just do six of Slay all day. And then... Then I put it in my warmer in my room and James could not stop complimenting it. And I was like, well, that to me, it sounds like I've, I've got a pass. I can, I can buy more. <laughs> so I did. Uh, and again, it's the new scent categories. I'm finding that with this clearance one that they're newly poured bars and it just blows my mind. I don't know why. Like, if you're going to pour me new bars, just leave it in the catalog. I'll buy it. But I don't know. They don't, I don't see a pour date on that. Well, I can kind of faintly see one. I'm not even going to obsess about this this time. I've done that once before. So I did get six more bars of Slay all day. That, if it sits there too much longer, you guys, I'm going to buy more. So if you want a chance to get any Slay all day, I suggest you do that soon. Because it's like I'm including them in every order. <sighs> that and Snow Kissed Cranberry. I can't. My Cranberry Garland went like lightning. Which I'm not surprised about. I'm going to try to plug this in. Um, wow, for right now. Um, you have Luna Soak coming for your... Oh, yes. That's very nice. Uh, it is such a big bag. <sighs> okay. So where am I down to? I guess I'm down to the last two boxes. Let's just go for it. I plugged in my comp uh, phone into my charger cord on my computer. Hopefully, it, fingers crossed, it lets us get through this. So let's see here. I've got some more sun circles. Harvest oil three pack. Yeah, because there's one thing that I really want to show you guys. A couple things I really want to show you guys. This is a party cash out. Um, so this was for the other cat. even see me <laughs> oh oh you guys it's here okay um so the, the sensi incentives are off the chain they seriously like they're out of this world amazing and i did earn 
level three of the spring incentive, which I've told you guys before. So it, it it's come with a, a mirage, like a, a whole smorgasbord of things that have slowly been kind of coming in. So it came with a, st a starter kit, a home kit that came with all of the new fragrances. It came with five of the brand new warmers for free. This is an exclusive warmer. Oh, it's called Keep Keep Going, Keep Growing. You cannot buy this warmer. It comes with a green bulb. You guys, like I forgot about this. I forgot about this. There's one more thing that should be coming from this incentive. And I'm really excited to get it um, when, when it does become available. So... Oh, this means so much. This seriously, like this warmer is, this is amazing. So it's, it's a classic white and it says, keep going, keep growing. These were specifically made only for people who earn them. So like not any Scentsy consultant can get this warmer, which is why it didn't, like they didn't just order say 10,000 of them and they're ready to ship. You had to earn the incentive and then they special made this for us, which is so cool. So that's why it's coming so much later down the line. But, oh, I cannot wait to see this. I cannot wait to see this. It's just a classic white. And like I said, it comes with the, the green bulb, which you saw, but the colored bulbs do some amazing things with the white ceramic warmers. So, let's go for it. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Ah, oh, I love, like, I love this. This is awesome. I mean, it's not, it's not like a one of a kind warmer, but it's a only not like not everybody can get this warmer and I'm super excited to have it. So, oh, I've got to find somewhere special for this one. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I need like a display shelf or a second, a second display shelf. Let's be honest. Um, okay. So, I did pick up an etched core silver out of the clearance section. I had gotten the etched core rose gold in my set and warmer of the month kit, and I did gift it to my sister because rose gold is her jam. The minute that I had seen it and we got to pick our color, her co I, I picked rose gold specifically for her. Now, I am more of a silver person, although I will say rose gold is growing on me a little bit, but this is sitting there, and I think it's like 25 bucks or something. And do I need it? No, but I thought it would make a really nice, maybe Christmas gift for somebody. Um, and if nobody likes it, I'm in love with it because it's silver. I love silver. And this is, this warmer doesn't put out an insane amount of light. So like, this is a completely like timeless classic piece. That's just beautiful. It's just stunning. Yeah, it's a consultant warmer. Uh, this one's not, but they keep going, keep growing. Um, so yeah, this is just really pretty. I thought it might make a nice Christmas gift um, for somebody. I haven't figured out who yet, but like it was at such a good price. And I really do love this etched gore um, in the silver. I'm not a fan of it in the white. Like it's just too plain for me in the white, but silver's pretty. Silver is really pretty. So, let's check this back in here, so that's where that goes, and the dish does actually match it too, so that when you sit the, the top on there, it, it sit, you know, it gives this like flush look, so if you, you I'll bring the dish up here real quick for you, so if, if you have not taken a look at this warmer, definitely, it does not get enough credit, it's got the silver line on the side of its dish um so that it it matches up when you set it on top of it but it's it's a really beautiful piece yeah and i i don't think a lot of people were like super impressed with it but it, this is one of those ones like you have got to see it in person to get the full 
glamorous effect of the way that that silver shines. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna put the top on that. Put this back together and move it out of the way. Um, let's see, we got, we said six more scent circles, I think, it's six more. I'm gonna have a mess to clean up. Um, Johnny Appleseed, Cozy Cardigan, Autumn Road Trip, Arctic Kiss, <laughs> Red Berries and Spruce, and then Polar Bear Hogs. So, like I said, I was trying to like, uh, just get a bunch back in. You really need them. Okay, so this is one I've had my eye on from the moment I got a peek at the catalog before it was actually even out. And I finally, finally got it. So, I've been waiting to use a half off on this because it's not one of the cheapest warmers. So, that's really the way to go. I got the palette warmer. Like the design on this is so unique. Like I knew I had to have it the minute that I saw it. And this is a very large yet very shallow dish. So that's kind of neat. This is very different. Normally it's not any bigger than a cotton cleanup, but this is probably the biggest dish I've seen. Um, let me shift here. My feet are starting to fall asleep here. Uh, do, do, do. What do we got here? Okay, this is cool. All right, so this doesn't look like much necessarily. Right this second. And again, this one is for me. Um, no way. You guys. It's like shimmery. Like I love this little, like, I don't know, I guess it's pinky, rose goldy kind of bottom. Like this caught my attention right away. And I just love the movement of this warmer. Like I seriously, like I'm insanely create, like the minute I saw this, I'm like, this is so unique. And I love the ombre effect it's got going on. But I didn't know it sparkled. <laughs> it's got shimmer. Oh, I love it even more. Like I'm looking at it and there's silver flakes all in whatever this is that they put around the glass because it's glass on the inside. So whatever they use to do this, it's got like these shimmery silver flakes in it. This is stunning. This is so much better than I even imagined it was gonna be. Like I just, it looked so unique. It was so different from anything that we have. And and I don't like pink, I'm not a pink person, but like, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Let's see what it looks like lit up. I have to, you know I have to. Uh, okay, I try to keep all my pieces together in the box. Because I do save all my boxes. Because I do rotate out my warmers. Oh my gosh, you guys. And this is a nice, like, large dish on top. I'm really impressed with that. Ooh. Cord tuck. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Get it plugged in. Oh, I don't even, oh, we're going to leave that last box for tomorrow, I think, at this point. Because um, if not, we're going to be here for another, like, 30, 40 minutes. And I don't want to do that to you guys because <laughs> it's a long time. Okay, so we got it plugged in. This is going to be our finale for this evening. Let's check it out. Like you can still see the shimmer. Like the camera is way 100% not doing this justice and I'm not sure how to get it to do it justice. But you can only see the, the glow from the top, obviously. But you can still see all of the shimmer and the silver and the sparkle down here at the bottom. It is amazing. I love this. 
I absolutely love this. Now, it probably, in all honesty, won't go up until after I'm ready to maybe take Halloween down. Or maybe I swap out the one I have in my kitchen. I don't know. This really, it kind of needs to go up. It's so pretty. It needs to go up. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you for bearing with me this evening. Um, I've got one more large box behind me. And... Like, I really want to give one of these items in the extremely large box behind me its due. So we're going to split it into two. I will be back tomorrow to show you guys what is in the last remaining box as I clean up my mess here this evening. So thank you very much, and you guys have a great night.